Hello everybody. In this video, we are doing an example where we have to design a CMOS logic layout given the following function. And the function is as follows, where we have A is in parallel with B and C, and B and C is in series. And all together of this, this whole thing will be in series in C, and this whole thing would be in parallel with D. And if you guys uh, don't know what I'm saying and are new to this, pluses simply mean that it's in parallel and uh, the dot, which I don't have here, but a multiplication, the product of two terms would essentially be uh, them in a series. So the question is, is we have to design a CMOS logic layout and what is it gonna be? And first, what we have to do is we have to uh, split the CMOS in two parts, and they're gonna, and these two parts would be labeled as networks. So the first one would be called the pull-up network, and the second would be our pull-down network. And each network basically represents what our function is. Let's start off with the pull down network. So the pull down network represents um, the inputs of these in a NMOS uh, transistor. So basically what we do is we just write the NMOS equivalent of all these inputs together, which is A plus B, C, and then that basically the same thing without this uh, inverter right here. So we're gonna have to draw the NMOS equivalence of these uh, inputs. And this is how it's gonna look like. So we have our input A, right here, and that's in parallel with these two inputs that are in series which is B and C and then this whole thing would basically be in series with uh, another input of C and this entire thing would be in parallel with D And that is what our pull down network is. And as I've clarified in my uh, previous video about CMOS inverters, is that for a pull down network, which is the NMOS, the NMOS is connected between the output. So the output is here, and then the ground at the bottom. So that's what our uh, pull down network is going to be. For our pull up network, our pull-up network is basically the opposite of this, and that's the uh, PMOS section. And in this uh, part, it's basically the entire, uh, it's, we're basically just like inverting this whole function right here. So let's do that, shall we? So let's start off with these two inputs, B and C. So the inversion of that would basically be B in parallel with C. And this, these two terms are gonna be in series with A. And then this entire thing would be in parallel with C. And then this entire thing would be in series with D. And this, these uh, lines basically represents the inverter, the opposite of it. And this function would basically represent our PMOS layout. So let's uh, draw it, shall we? So let's start off with B and C. So B and C are in parallel with one another. 
So what we have is, and remember that we have to draw a circle that basically represents the whole. So B is in parallel with C. And then this whole thing would be in series with A. And then this whole thing would be in parallel with another input of C. And then this entire thing would be in series with D. Now we have to label what uh, this PMOS would be connected in between. So for PMOS, what I've clarified again in my previous video about CMOS inverters is that for PMOS, at the top, it is connected to a uh, voltage VDD and at the bottom it's connected to the output and there we go now all we need to do is combine these together and that would be what our CMOS logic layout is going to be given this following function so this is the final layout for our CMOS and I just want to quickly highlight that from here to here is our PMOS and from here to the ground, from the output to the ground, that would be our NMOS. And that is it for this question. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the near future.